This is a review of the Air Things Wave Mini. I got this back in August. I just wanted to share some thoughts about it. I bought this on clearance in Walmart for $40. The regular price for it is $80. So basically this thing monitors your air quality and tells you how much particles there are in your air. It also monitors the temperature in your house and the humidity. And it also gives you a mold risk factor. So basically it'll tell you how likely it is that you can get mold based on the climate, based on the temperature and humidity. So basically when I bought this, it needed to calibrate for about a week for the mold assessments and the other stuff is basically um, instant other than the particle monitor. At first it told me I had a lot of stuff in the air and then it went down. So the Airwave Mini is battery powered and it connects to your phone with Bluetooth. So you can put this anywhere. You don't have to worry about connecting it to an outlet. And it's supposed to last you two years on the batteries. From my experience, I got this in August. The batteries died in November. So it lasted me four months, which isn't even close to the two years. So basically, I don't know if that depends on the batteries. Maybe there are some better batteries out there, but with the original batteries that it came with, it lasted me four months. So the other thing is it connects with Bluetooth to your phone. So you basically download the AirThings app. Okay, so here's the app and I have the AirThings already set up. And basically you just press on it and it tells you all the different information. So right now it's telling me my air quality is fair. Um, it was sitting in my car in my center console. So that's what it was reading from that. I had it in my car for a couple days. So these numbers are not the numbers that it's giving me for my house. So it tells me the temperature. It gives me the mold risk number. So you can see the history. It also choose the year, month, week, or 48 hours. The reason it's called the wave is because if you wave your hand in front of it, it shows a light showing you what your air quality is. So it looks like it has these slots here where the sensors are for the air quality. It has three of them around. And then this is magnetic. So you just remove it and it swivels like that. And you have the batteries in the back. So whenever you need to change the batteries, it's really easy to change the batteries. You just take that off and swap out the batteries. So would I recommend this? Probably not because the batteries died really quickly. They didn't last me two years and it needs to be linked through Bluetooth to your phone to update your information. So it's not constantly linked with Wi-Fi giving you updated information all the time. It links automatically, so as soon as you turn on Bluetooth on your phone, it automatically links and updates your information. And you don't have to always be linked with Bluetooth to this. It stores the information online, it said like 80 days. So basically, you could just link to it like every week or whenever you want to see your air quality. It seems to work good. I would prefer to have something that's just connected with power and connected to my Wi-Fi. So it's just constantly updating the information. I don't have to link to it with Bluetooth. So I'm thinking to buy this one instead. The Amazon sells for $70. I don't think it's worth getting this one for $80. I would rather go with this Amazon one. And you can get these on cheaper than full price on like eBay, but I don't think it's worth $80 considering that this one is out there for 70. I don't know if it's as good of a monitor or not. Simply not having to worry about changing batteries and connecting to it with Bluetooth, um, I feel like is much better. That's it, that's my review. Um, if I could return this, I would, but it's been way too long to return it. And so that's it, that's my thoughts on the AirThings Wave Mini. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in another video.